and we're back. I told you it was going to be a long one. This is going to be a two-parter. So <laughs> I looked up to see where we were at time-wise, Carl. I noticed it wasn't recording. I'm like, do we have to record this whole thing over? <laughs> so we went and looked at it. No, we. it was like 10 seconds before I looked at it, it cut out. So we were at Mark Grace. So finish out with your honorable yeah. mention, Chicago. Uh, yeah. Neither of us are Sox fans. Frank Thomas, big hurt, legendary player though. Yes. Um, icon of the nineties. Two time oh, MVP. Yep. Did they they didn't win the World Series? The White Sox? No. <laughs> no, no, they did not win they the World Series. They won two thousand five. Two thousand five. Way, yeah. way past his much time. like the Cubs with just twenty sixteen and nothing else. Yeah. Um speaking of, it's also kind of crazy we didn't really name any of the twenty sixteen. Cubs team just because it was more of a team. Than oh yeah, players. we got, I got Rizzo got up there. Rizzo. Yeah, I thought about Rizzo. Brian, KB Schwarber, honestly. Schwarbs. Yeah. They all went to different places. Javi <laughs> El Mago, yeah. like what a great. And this they is just not the lasting legacy. Everyone left. Maybe Ian Happ is the only one left, and he wasn't. He ain't making this list. <laughs> an integral. No, he, no, he's not. Um, and then the only other ones I had some athletes from Chicago. Yeah, yeah. Like a little quirk. So yes. Um. Again, his post career hasn't been his best, but Isaiah Thomas at the time, what a point guard. Chicago guy from St. Joe's, I think. Yeah, I right? think so. Went to IU for that one year. Oh, went to IU? Yep. Uh, D Wade. D yeah. Wade is a Chicago I guy. Forget, went to Marquette. I forget which high school he went to. He actually but. played for the Bulls for a little bit. Um, the wrestling world, CM Punk, for anyone who's a wrestling fan. CM Punk. He's a newer wrestler. I'm not, I'm more, I'm, not, I'm an attitude era guy. So back in the day, NWO. WWF, WCW, but he's more like modern day. He's won multiple titles. I think he held the title for over a year, but he's like one of the more popular wrestlers. If you're talking years. Jake the Snake or Hulk Hogan or Randy Macho Man or Brett then the, I know what Brett you're the talking. Brett the Hitman Hart. Brett the Hitman Hart. Yoka, the, Yokozuna. <laughs> uh, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, the Iron Sheik. And the Iron Sheik I forgot to mention before. Uh, my last episode was Jabroni Sandwich. The Iron Sheik was actually the one that brought the yes. word jabroni yes. back. I did not mention that, so I my apologies to you if he's still alive. I don't know if he's still alive. I can't remember. Um, yeah. And then final one, uh, someone you actually were a teammate with. Yes. Brian McBride. Brian McBride. For those who don't know, legendary, one of the greatest, if not, well, Landon Donovan's and Clint Dempsey are the best, but top, he's a Mount Rushmore U.S. soccer striker of all time. I think most people will say that Brian McBride is a Mount Rushmore, top four all-time United States soccer player yeah. so he played in three straight world cups which is in, in itself pretty good just that he played he scored in i think he had three goals he scored in one and one uh and then two in the second one where they got to the sweet 16 was it yep um yeah and yeah. i and he went to buffalo grove high school where i went he was a senior when i was a freshman and i re, i will always remember summer camp his going into his senior year going into my freshman year he <laughs> It was a joke. All four classes were mingling together, and we would do drills together. We would play scrimmages together, all four classes. This It was ridiculous. We had a drill called Seven Chippers, which I recall fondly. It was just around the goal, seven different spots around the goal. Somebody chips it in, and there's 20 people at least, kids, 20 kids in there, all freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors. And whoever gets the ball and scores, you get a point, and it's all for Slurpees or whatever. That motherfucker, would, when he was in that the mass of people, would get every single one. Well, Chip in. Hatter McBride. Chip in. He chest it down. Kick it in. Like, not only is he an international level player, but he's huge for soccer standards, too. He's like, what, 6'2"? Yes. 180, 190, which, again, and there was big, so. And if McBride, I hope somehow you're watching this. I really I, I really have to adjust this, Carl. I can't take it anymore. It's got to be a little bit higher. Okay, now I feel better. Perfect. Oh, okay, now. now you come, come on in a little bit. Bring All it right. on in. All right. So, sorry, technical difficulties. So, Brian McBride, if you are watching, I hope you're watching. I hope this gets to you. I love you if you're watching. This, yes, Brian. you are amazing. We loved watching you play both in high school. Uh, you went to St. Louis, I believe, for college. Yep. You played uh, the Premier League, I'm Columbus pretty sure. Crew. Columbus Crew. Fulham, were the Fulham. He has a pub name for him outside of Fulham Stadium. And he, he was, was the college. first overall pick ever of the MLS, yep. which is doing just fine and possibly expanding to Indianapolis soon. But the one story I want to tell you about Brian McBride is in one of our scrimmages, I was on the opposing team 
from him. And in the scrimmages, if you kicked the ball in, you would get a point. If you headed the ball, if it was a header goal, it would be three points. And his somehow my team was up by two goals because usually the head coach would put McBride with a bunch of freshmen and you know, and then stack the other team just to piss Brian off. But my team was up by two points. And Brian, somebody tackled Brian, got a red card. It was a penalty kick. And I, I, I know this happened for a fact because I remember it. And it was him and this other junior dude were the only two really good players on the team. They were down by two. This was it. So a, a penalty kick is not going to help him. Penalty kick, Brian goes and he, he looks, he, he says a little something to this guy. His name, I think his name was Kenny. And, and they blow the whistle. Brian flips the ball up with his with his foot and his buddy comes flying in with the head ball and he <laughs> scored on, I believe it was John who was in my class, a, a freshman goaltender. It was the most amazing thing I'd ever seen. It was, you know, summer. It, it meant nothing, quote unquote. I mean, his team won a bunch of Slurpees. That's what we play for. But I will never forget that, Brian. I wonder if you remember that. So anyway, that's it. Let's move on. Let's move on Excellent. to the final segment. No, there's yeah. two more segments. We oh, got yeah. This is movie sequels. This is, we are going to have a two-parter here. This is going to be a yeah, long one. We're having fun, aren't we? Yeah, we are having a blast. I'm looking for more uh, sound effects. What, what what would I use this one for? Uh, like a surprise? <laughs> I mean, it's it's a classic scream. <laughs> the the, those, Will, yeah, the Wilhelm cool. scream. Wait, wait, listen, Carl, listen. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's not bad, I guess. Um, okay, so this next segment is the best movie sequels out there ever. Now, we discussed briefly before we came into this magical room where everything happens. If that meant a couple things, does it mean it has to be the first sequel and it can't be the third or the fourth or a prequel or any of that stuff? We also mentioned if you pick a movie in your Mount Rushmore of your four that's if I pick something in Star Wars, then you can't pick another Star Wars movie. So we kind of decided that you can pick any movie, but if it could what, be the second, the third, the fourth. A what, series. Once a series has been taken, that series is done. Thanks for breaking that down. I, I don't know English sometimes. Yeah, so it's, it's a tough language. <laughs> it, it sometimes is. I'm going to start first. because I, did, did you start? I, I went first last time. So okay, yeah, you, so I'm you get to go first, first this time. My favorite... <laughs> Sequel of all time is none other than Back to the Future 2. It sure is. Back to the Future 2. Marty McFly, Biff, Doc Brown. In 1985, the original Back to the Future premiered in theaters. 1985. Probably on my all-time top 25 movies. Loved it. Then, I still, when I see it on TV, I still watch it now. Back to the Future 2, Back to the Future 1 in 1985 ended as a cliffhanger. It ended with To Be Continued. And I loved that movie. And I was so excited for the, for the sequel. 86 comes by, nothing. 87 comes by, nothing. 1988 comes by. And not only there was nothing, it was worse than that. I read somewhere in a paper, they didn't have the internet back then, that they were having trouble getting the original cast back. It's probably not going to make it. I was devastated. And maybe that was just to make idiots like me more excited. Because in 1989, it came out. <laughs> and I was so excited. Couldn't wait to go and see it at the movie theater. The only main difference between one and two was Marty's girlfriend. And in two, it was Elizabeth Shue. I was fine with that. Now, are, you were, you're a good 10 years younger than me. So are, I was five when it came out. So you, Okay. So you didn't... I've, I've seen it on TV like once. It's not really my wheelhouse. Really? Back yeah. to the Future? Okay. So I mean, I've seen the original a bunch of times. But you haven't seen it as many times as me. It's, no. it's not in your favorite movies. Okay. So Back to the Future 2 grossed $332 million in 1989, wow. which was a big number for back then. Hoverboard came from that. Uh, the Great Sports Almanac, when they go back. And all the all the time frames were in Back to the Future 2. You had 1985, they go to 2015, which, by the way, they predicted the Cubs won the World Series. Uh, they go back to 1955, and the weird, uh, the time-space continu continuum was distorted. I'm, I'm rambling on. So Back to the Future 2 was my first. What about you, bud? 
Uh, with my first pick, I think we're gonna have some major differences. To be honest with you, yeah. <laughs> uh, I gotta go with the Dark Knight. Dark the Batman Knight series. Uh, so no Batman's from here on out. Okay. Just. What, what did you like about the Dark Knight? Everything. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm a big Christopher Nolan fan. All of his movies are fantastic for the most part. Uh, and I'm not. I'm not a superhero guy. I've, You're not. No, I've not. I don't. I've seen maybe like one or two Marvel movies in my life. Uh, what's the other one? DC. I don't know what the difference is. I've seen like outside of Batman, maybe like two or three superhero movies. So it's yeah. not really my thing. But it's more of that. It's more re not reality, but more real. So do you call the Dark Knight a sequel of the original Batman? So the original Batman to me was with Michael Keaton. Is that correct? Yeah. Or no? Well, I mean. She wouldn't be original was Adam West way back in the day, but movie wise it would be Michael. Keaton. So Adam West was TV. TV. Yeah. Okay. So movie wise, Michael. Okay. So the Dark Knight, I never saw that, but I. So that it's the second one in the Christian Bale Batman oh, series. Okay. So the first one is Batman Begins. Okay. Then it's the okay. Dark Knight, then the Dark Knight Rises. That that makes sense. Okay, because I've heard from several people of all ages that the Dark Knight was ridiculously good. Yeah, I mean. Heath Ledger as the Joker is one of the best performances. How many times do you think you've seen that one? 15 or 20. 15 or 20. When I really like a movie, I pound it. Like So like A, a Few Good Men, I've probably seen. I mean, it's a tougher one. It's 160. Good is it two, like two 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 and a half, two okay. hours, 40 minute movie? That's, but that's a long sitting. Thing. Actually, quite a few on my list here are. So. All right. So your number three, or number three goes to you. Yes. Um, da, 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 da. So many good no, things. no, don't worry, don't worry. I've got, I've got a sound effect for that. Just, just do it. Just, uh, I'll wait for number three. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Ooh, the Last Crusade. Okay. Deciding between that and Temple of Doom, but. So, how many of the Indiana Jones were there? Originally, with Harrison Ford, three, and then they did the fourth one. With uh, who was that with Shia LaBeouf? Uh, okay, so there's better. four. You think there's four? Because it was Raiders of the Lost Ark, then Temple of Doom, then The Last Crusade. Was Raiders of the Lost Ark where the guy's face melted? Yeah, that gave me. It still gives me nightmares. I think. And The Last Crusade is Nazis, basically. Who? So who doesn't love killing Nazis? So they kill all the Nazis in The Last Crusade. I don't know that even. I mean, I shouldn't even be talking. Are you? Are you not an Indiana Jones? Fan? <laughs> I'm not. No. Okay. Although I live in Indiana, I'm not an Indiana Jones fan. I don't even know. Well, it's just his name. He's not from Indiana, so. Okay, yeah. but I mean, I know that his little his little scar in real life came from. Well, they say it came from a whip. Yeah. That's all I know. That's all I know. <laughs> no, I, so that was that was more like kind of my. Like when I was the age you were with Back to the Future. So oh, okay. Probably me with the So that was your go to. So that was my go to, like action back in the day. That was good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I get two now. Um, I'm going to go a little scary here. 1981 produced a movie called Halloween 2, which scared the shit out of me. And it still does. That song. That song doesn't sound anything like that at all. Uh, <laughs> It's it's a very scary song. It was actually a song they played in some of my hazing. I'm I'm sorry, training at my fraternity. Uh, but that song scares me. That movie scared me. It's Michael Myers. He's got just the the white mask, and he's he's a slasher. He doesn't use guns. He likes to just cut people up. Jamie Lee Curtis, kind of in her very beginning stages of her career, very attractive woman back then. Uh, there was a big hot tub scene in the second one with a really hot, now this came out in 81. So when I watched it, I thought it was like crazy that I actually saw boobs <laughs> on screen, but there was a hot tub scene with the, now she later gets absolutely slashed. So that probably had an effect on my brain, but, um, uh, yeah. yeah. Halloween two for me goes, uh, as our number four overall. Uh, did you ever watch anything in the Halloween series, Carl? There's been like thirty of them. Right. Um. I've seen. I've seen the first two. I'm not a big okay. horror movie guy. Okay. I saw them when I was younger, but. So you I, didn't see the original Halloween and Halloween two. Yep. 
Okay. Yeah. So like they they've it's had like watching them on TV around Halloween time. Yeah. So I'm sure I saw probably like a censored muted version anyway. So I not see. Really the same thing. Yeah, it's not. Um, it's not. Yeah, I'm just not a. Yeah, do yourself a favor. Scare scare yourself to death and get a Halloween two unedited. Okay, we'll move on. <laughs> uh, Rocky three. This is supposed to be a punch, but apparently we're doing a slap. Rocky three came out in 1982. It was the debut of Mr. T. I loved Mr. T. Uh, What's your prediction for the for the fight? My prediction? Yes, your prediction. Pain. <laughs> <laughs> I said pain there if you couldn't hear. Uh, yeah, and Apollo Creed comes back to train Rocky in... No, was that four? That was four. I'm losing my fucking mind. Was That's Apollo four, Creed yeah. in four? Well, he was in three, too, I think. He dies at the start of four. When... He dies at the start of four. Yeah. All right. Well, Rocky related, three, yeah. Rocky four. You can put those both together. That's my sequel. Uh, you can move on. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a good. I I love Rocky, obviously, and I would have got four is my personal favorite. Uh, uh, the tra- he, the train, not to get off track there, but the training no. scene from four when he's literally like climbing a mountain in boots and shorts. Yes, and, and they were and, so. Yes, they were. Yeah. Sh- they were showing Drago getting drugs and in this state of the art facility with actual weights and they showed Rocky in this just wilderness lifting, you know, rickshaws and lifting tree trunks, tree trunks, actual rocks and running in the snow and climbing mountains and, uh, amazing heart sign. Hearts on fire, strong desire, fate is something like that. I, no, sorry, I'm, I'm a huge montage guy. Uh, that's that's up there for all time. Best so montages. good. And every Rocky movie has one. And the Rocky Four montage, his training montage, was second to none. And so then, the, then they end the Cold War at the end of the movie. So yeah. If better. if you can change, and and I can change, we all can change. The crowd goes wild. We all that's can change. Bad. Hey, to my kid at home. Go to bed, Adrian. Adrian, I love you. Oh, sorry, sorry, I got, I got uh, sidetracked. I feel like you like Rocky Four better. Than oh, Rocky III. I, I do. I don't know why I <laughs> put. Can, we can let you get Rocky. Four yeah, we're gonna make that four yeah, instead of three. I, think that's I good apologize. Bet. All right, so two to you. Um. All right. <laughs> I know you were thrown off by my my craziness of of singing and uh, energy. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, it is me. Two for me. Yeah, so, um, me. so I got to go with one of my all-time favorites. Uh, the original was the first R-rated movie I ever got to see as a kid. The original being Die Hard. Oh! I am going to go with Die Hard with a Vengeance. Oh, it's on my list. We definitely uh, agree on go. that. Um, you got everyone's favorite. Bruce Willis looking like Mr. Clean with the magic eraser <laughs> out there. Samuel L. Jackson in his prime. I had never seen a Samuel L. Jackson movie before because I was, I think I was 12 or 13. When One of the best I ever do it was Samuel. Uh, it just, like, like I said, that I saw Die Hard and then I think I saw Die Hard with a Vengeance maybe like a week later because, again, this was like, both so, had already been out. Did I, you skip the second one? Uh, I watched it. It's just they're they're know, they're, they're not parts, really not, related. Yeah, they're they're kind of like like way in depth. They're related, but they're they're separate movies. No, but yeah, one and three are definitely the best of that series. And three, yeah, the and all the puzzles and just everything. It's, so good, man. Just so such good. a great movie. I I I've got to tell you, Carl. I, I'm very. Your thing keeps uh, falling down. I'm unhappy with our our video. I'm I'm gonna fix this. At least it's recording. Oh, yeah, it is recording, so that's good. All right, that's better. Now we're both in. Okay. <clears throat> All right, now I feel better. So All right. yeah, so Die Hard with a Vengeance. What did I want to say about that movie? The opening scene where he puts oh, that thing the, on. The, it has the, to go to heart. The, the, the he goes to Harlem in in with in, the I hate I hate the, the N word yeah. on there, and it's like that. You you couldn't do that now, probably not. But that got your attention from the very beginning. Right. And and it wasn't, yeah, it it, it, it was just kind of cool how him and Bruce Willis and Samuel L. Jackson throughout the movie they were their interaction was incredible. Complete polar opposites, but polar opposites together. Yeah, it, it's a classic in movie character. Trip, yeah. And I, whenever I see that, I I watched it to the fruition as well. And what was it? Wasn't Hans Gruber? What was the? Do you know what the villain's name was? Oh. In there? 
It's because it was his, uh, he was related to one of Hans's main goons. His, it was like his brother. His brother. It was from the original, the guy with the long blonde hair. That, you remember that? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure that was his brother. Oh, okay. And then obviously they were doing the gold heist with all the trucks and, yeah. Such a good movie. Hanging so off the good. Bridge at the end of the movie. Oh, my God. It's just, it's just, just all, it, great mid 90s. Perfect action flick. No doubt about it. And it kept going and kept going. And just when you thought you, the climax and another awesome scene to you. I'm yeah. with you on that. Okay, what else? Wow. All right, so I got uh, last one. Man, so many good ones left, too. I got to go. <laughs> I'm not allowed to think here? What's going on? What's going on? I got, I, I got a lot of choices. Uh, it... Because of my childhood um, and what I grew up on the most growing up was the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but also Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters 2. Ghostbusters 2? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I don't think I've ever seen Ghostbusters. This is not the one recently with the three women. No, no, no. This is the one from back in the 80s still with the original cast. So Bill Murray was still in it. Yep. Uh, who else? Egon, who was... Dan Aykroyd. Dan Aykroyd. Harold uh, Ramis, I think. Harold Ramis, and then what's his Annie name? Potts. Was Annie Potts in it? Yeah. And then... Was, I think Rick Moranis was in the second one Rick as well. Rick Moranis. Uh, but yeah, it's the one with the goo down in the sewers. You've never so seen I, I don't one. think okay. I've ever seen two. Yeah. But I mean, I'm going to have to watch it. No, I trust this you. Is, this is strictly a nostalgia pick, too, because I, it's, I could probably name ones that I watch more often nowadays, but literally... Growing up as a kid, I was obsessed with the Ghostbusters and everything about them. So nice. I, I got to go with that. I so for the last one, I got to look at your list because oh, I, I have run. I have run out. Uh, <laughs> you took a couple of mine. I don't like. Can you believe that I have never seen The Godfather? I don't know why they're cheering. They should be laughing at me. It was one of the best trilogies ever the godfather to godfather 2 i'm just gonna say the godfather 2 and one best picture right it was the only it's known as like the greatest sequel the greatest ever. sequel ever was oh. the godfather 2 which i have not seen but i'm going to say it just primarily because it won best picture and it's the only sequel i believe to do so so you're pandering I'm pandering. I'm, <laughs> is that is that what the definition of pandering is? Yeah. I'm pandering to you all right now. The the best sequel ever was The Godfather Two. Oh my goodness, I can't. I remember the first time I. I, never saw it. I'll, I mean, I'll be honest. I've only seen all the Godfather movies once ever, and that was until like ten years ago. So, so those are they're, all. They're great movies, but it's not like I don't know. I just those those are those are long. Yeah. Those are three hours. They are so. Yeah. I was trying to think. I don't think there's any other. Do you have any that. Any other good ones? I mean, we left out what also might be considered. Oh, Star Wars. Empire Strikes Back. Empire Strikes Back for sure. Uh, I, Top Gun 2. I, I, Top, I think Top, Top Gun 2 is much better than the original. Very episode. impressive. Um, yeah. I saw that in the movie theater. I was very excited to see it. And just the sound effects, and I almost felt like I was rumbling yep. in the theater. It was a yeah. It was really good. Uh, I, I I noticed you said Naked Gun two and a half. Oh yeah, big fan of that. I, I think I actually might like Thirty Three and a Third better. Thirty Three and a Third. First, I mean the original is my favorite, but. Oh, you know what else we didn't mention? Although they're all the same movie, basically Austin Powers. I've got that on there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Along with Hot Shots Part Two. Oh, so, Hot I mean, Shots Part Two. My the first comedy that What's came to my head. Uh, Twenty Two Jump Street. I don't know if you've seen. I have not. That is that with Johnny Depp? No, it's uh, so twenty two Dump Street. Channing was... Tatum and Jonah Hill, my doppelganger. Oh, Jonah, Jonah Hill. That's Jonah Hill. Well, I forgot to say, he Celebrity looks like Jonah is. Hill a little bit. Yeah. Anybody? Uh, what about me? Who do I look like? Uh, some people have said Tom Cruise. I, I don't see it. Uh, Pete Sampras, David Schwimmer. I've gotten none of those people. I don't see Pete Sampras. Maybe okay, a little Schwimmer. A little Schwimmer. <laughs> uh, uh, but no, those are Channing Tatum too. It's a great, hilarious movie. Uh, the second one I like better. It's got Ice Cube as well. Ice Cube plays a great role in it. Oh, that reminds me of Friday. You ever seen Next Friday? Oh, yeah. Was that yep. a good one? Yep, I had that on my list, too. That's great. I uh, like the first the first Friday. Peanut butter, no jelly. Damn! <laughs> Damn, Gina! The first one was awesome. i got to see the second one. Maybe we'll, we'll go watch it. Maybe we'll get high. Do you ever get high? Are we allowed to get high in this state? No, t uh, not legally, but... Is there medical marijuana in this state? No. So we were when we were in Chicago, I found it fascinating that... We, we drove by a bunch of dispensaries. 
I just wanted to go in and see the packaging, see what they had to offer. But in Chicago, it's uh, it's kind of like restaurants. So it's legal to smoke cigarettes here, but you can't do it in public places. So I'm assuming it's like that in Chicago. They have lounges though, right? Uh, I think they just started doing lounges recently. It's more like for at-home consumption. I don't know the legal. It varies state to state, so I don't know Illinois. So law, but the, like some states, you can do it publicly. Most states you can't, but people just do it anyways, and it doesn't matter. So. Okay. Yeah. I. For those of you that have watched any of my episodes, and thank you to the twelve to thirteen of devoted followers. I'm 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 trying to gain more. We're going to be getting a logo soon. We're going to do business cards. I'm going to go on Apple Podcasts soon. I'm going to get Riverside FM for my podcast hosting site. We, I'm making a move. Is it ever going to make me a dime? I don't know, but I am determined to put some smiles on millions of people's faces. So that was a little sidebar. Um, what, what was I saying before I just got distracted there? Oh, weed. So for the, <laughs> <laughs> imagine that. <laughs> imagine that. For those of you devoted followers out there, please, if you like the episodes, tell everybody that you know or repost it. But you will know that I no longer drink, really. I don't smoke cigarettes. I don't do drugs. Women don't talk to me much. So I'm down to frozen Cokes. Lifesavers have been really good lately. I like breakfast sandwiches a lot. Buffalo wraps with no buffalo. I think I might be getting into weed. The last time I smoked weed, I believe, well, I don't want to get anybody in trouble, but the last time I smoked weed, I was at somebody's house. Probably mine. And, <laughs> and uh, I had a major panic attack, but I think it was because I, I took like four or five hits right away. And you just don't, I hadn't smoked weed in. And I told you not to do that. You're like, don't do that. I'm like, no, I, Carl, I don't feel anything. He's like, give it time, dude. He's like, hold on. Just give it a minute, buddy. Just relax. You don't have to hit it so hard. That's, that's where you ended up. <laughs> and I, yeah, and I, I just, I'm like, I don't feel it. And so I took five really big hits. And then like 10, 15 minutes later, my heart was racing. I started panicking. I go up. I go up. I think I was staying with you at the time. I was in between, I was in between residences. And you, you allowed me to stay with your place for like a month. I went up to my room at the time and just laid in bed and a couple people, there was a couple people downstairs. Somebody go check on Mike. Will somebody go see <laughs> if he is alive? What, what happened to Mike? Is he still alive? But I want to get back into it and do it correctly. I will say that I am concerned about all the lacing of stuff these days. No matter what drug you take, if you don't get it from like a dispensary, I would be scared that it'd be laced with fentanyl. You, you're not concerned about that stuff? I mean... Not with weed. Not with I weed. also just get my stuff from a dispensary. So. Oh, okay. So, so you feel pretty confident dispensaries are not going to have stuff laced with. No, they have to go through actual like government regulations. Government regulations so. and stuff. Okay, so I I'm mean, going to get they back. Might be laced with other stuff, but not stuff that's going to kill you. So if and well, right. So and if and when I pesticides and get into that, story. I'm going to have to move to a state that it's never going to be legal here in our lifetime. You think it's? You think it's within ten years of Indiana legal legalizing it? I would want to say no, but I mean, literally every state around us has. So eventually, when you realize all the tax money you're just losing out on, for that, sure. And when public, even in Indiana, the poll, the people are in favor of it in polls, not by a lot, but it's 52, 53 percent. So the public is in favor of it. It's just the and Indiana, government that's not because we are. And in Indiana past. being a red state, so most red states are coming on late. So the blue states. I guess you could call them like Illinois was one of the first Colorado was the first, mm -hmm. I think to go legal with more than just medical, like for leisure. What do they call it? Oh, recreational. recreational. Yeah. But the, is there any red States that do you know of that? I guess pure red States. I mean, I can't even keep track because it's legal in more widespread than it's okay. nowadays. So yeah, I'm sure there are. So Indiana's one of the last, all right. Maybe, maybe if I wait it out, all right, that was a that was a a sidebar on weed <laughs> from next Friday. A major side <laughs> from next Friday, which I have not seen. Let's go into our final segment, shall we? So we had the Mount Rushmore of Chicago athletes. We had, uh, oh, first of all, we we broke down the wedding, Carl's sister's wedding. We had the Mount Rushmore of Chicago athletes. Then we had the best sequels ever. Of movies ending with The Godfather 2, so we have the Mount Rushmore of that. We are now going to go to the
The final segment, awkward questions. Awkward questions is something I thought of. It's not super original, but I think it might stick for when I have guest hosts. Just to, I absolutely have not asked you these questions. I was going to say, can we, let's preface this. Uh, you say awkward questions. Mine aren't necessarily awkward. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll add in an awkward one now just to be safe. But, uh, the awkward button on my interface is just a bunch of... Crows. Is that crows? So it's crows. awkward, awkward, <laughs> awkward. Okay. Mine are just kind of some random questions. Okay. Completely random stuff I thought of that I want to hear your take on. Okay. But but I'm down for the awkward questions. So we'll but go- neither of us have... the Neither of us told the other one about this until... And, I'm, that and right. I, I, I'm... I'm sure that I'm not going to offend you or get you into hot water or any of that stuff. I don't. No, we'll just say cut that, cut that. Well, we could, we could always cut, <laughs> we could cut it in post as if I know what to do yeah, there. Yeah, no. But, we'll take um, care of it in post, don't we? Anyway, so we're going to go back and forth. So my first awkward question to you, if you could commit a felony or worse, is felony, so there's like misdemeanors, there's felonies. If you could commit a felony or worse and not get caught, absolutely not get caught, the only person that's ever going to know is you. What felony would you commit? Okay. I like that. Uh, it's kind of an awkward. <laughs> no, it's not awkward. Hypothetical. So it's not awkward. No. So maybe mine aren't going to be awkward. Well, we'll it, it's, I can see maybe awkward for some people, but no. Okay. Like but not said, for it's you. Gonna, it's going to take a lot to get to me. Uh. I had a friend in high school who we used to roast all the time because drunkenly one night he, we were just sitting around bullshitting and he said something along the lines of every every crime is worth committing at least once. <laughs> we instantly named off a few that you could imagine like murder or oh, others right. that probably aren't. So um, there definitely are ones I would not do. However, I feel like just off the top of my head, bank robbery has to be the obvious answer. A hundred percent. If no one's going to find out, and it's not, no one's getting hurt. I'm just getting the money. Yeah, what? I mean, the people are getting hurt are the ones that had the money. That's, but, that's but what the physical, FDIC but, is for. But phys- <laughs> the banks are insured. They're fine. Correct. Physically, nobody's getting hurt. That's the first thing. When I put down that question, I'm like, is this dude going to say murder? He's not, like, Carl's, you're a good dude. I, I didn't think he would say murder. I didn't even know what the what the different levels of <laughs> crime were. <laughs> I was going to look that up. But I'm like, he. I would go bank robbery. So. All right, what do you got? Uh, I'm open. excited. What are your thoughts on Ozempic? Ozempic. So Ozempic is a drug that was specifically designed for something that people are not using it for now, correct? Yeah. What is Ozempic was designed for diabetes? No. Something like that. So it, it's a diabetes type illness, which I'm not... It was not originally intended to be a weight loss drug. But now everyone does it for weight loss. And... I believe it's been actually now approved for that method as well, which is why it's... Now, have they like changed that. the configuration of the drug at all since that new usage? So I, I, I don't think it's that the drug changed. I think it's just that they did more tests as far as that aspect goes and were able to get it. Weight, weight is weird. We all... Now, all, let it be known, neither of us know what we're talking about. No, no, no. no. That's why I if to if you question. ever need health advice or drug advice, do not... Come to this podcast. Do not come to this podcast. I don't want to be, I can't afford to pay legal fees for anything. We are not licensed medical professionals. We are not licensed financial advisors. We are not. Satire, we, satire, we, satire. Yeah, and we don't even play them on right, TV. So satire. We're but good legally. We're good. It's, uh, yeah, we're good. So as far as weight loss, so everyone struggles with weight. I, when I came back from Vegas, I was, my doctor said the word obese to me. And I'd always been a runt throughout my life. You know, in Vegas, I became a glutton shocker. Uh, did a lot of drinking of Coca Colas. I was drinking back then. Loved chocolate bars. I would have two king size chocolate bars every single night. And when I got back, he's like, "You got to start counting calories." So I don't know. So what are the side effects? So that's the question. That's why I was curious because we don't know. And it same seems thing with like the vaccine. There already are quite a few side effects. So you on. got the vaccines, right? For the oh yeah. Yeah, and I got jabbed up myself, and I'm still torn if I'm going to continue. I took, I, I did the first two. I did a booster. I think I did two boosters after that, like six mm-hmm. months booster, six months booster. And I've had it three times since then, 
So I'm hoping that I got some kind of immunity. But anyway, so Ozempic side effects. We don't know what they are. It's also like it's... So that's relatively new to the market. Relatively new meaning what? 10 years? 10 less than that. Less than 10. Yeah. That's scary. And that's what scares me about the vaccine too. It was warp speed and it was under Trump. I don't know if they changed it all under Biden. If it was the same exact thing, they probably enhanced it through time. But not neither one of the, the vaccine or Ozempic have luck. I don't know. And it's like, it's just for me, it's like unnatural how fast people lose weight. Like, because that's when you start to get, like, kind of looking weird and stuff. Yes. And like I heard super speed. I heard recently that a ton of people have tons of loose skin. Yep. That's, yep. And so the loose skin is going to be, if Ozempic continues, it's, I mean, it's on an upward trajectory still, right? And if they just approved it for weight loss, if that's a thing, then maybe I should get into, <laughs> it would probably take me way too long. I would be dead before I learned all the... Uh, eliminating loose skin. That was, it was weird. All right. So I, my, I guess my final thought is on Ozempic. I don't like it. Cool. Um, yeah, I'm with you. It, Not my thing. It's just new to the market. It's kind of like when they say Marlboro Lights or Diet Coke. It's not. Those weren't better. I don't think Marlboro Lights are better for you than regular Marlboros. No. I don't think Diet Coke is better for you than uh, another sidebar. All right, here's <laughs> here's another awkward question coming to Carl. Carl, have you? We're t- we're going into sex. We're going into sex. Carl, are you ready? You can't ask me any sex questions because I do not have a lot of experience. Okay, so <laughs> I do think that at some point somebody's gonna knock. There's a very slim chance that somebody knocks on my door and says I'm your son to keep the cute the cute name alive. There's a very very slim chance. Okay, so my question to you, sex wise. Have you ever participated in a three-way or more? And if so, can you please go into the details? Uh, John and Sue Cuth, please go to the bathroom. Go get a bathroom break. Maybe get something to drink. Or maybe you're not even tuning in in the first place. All right, Carl, go ahead. No, I have not. Boring no. Yeah. So that's a boring answer. But we're, I guess in this segment, we're kind of prude. So I had... A three-way in college, but only because I call it a three-way. It wasn't a traditional three-way. And I'll break it down for you really quick. Was it the devil's three-way? What's the devil's? Is that two guys and a girl? Yeah. Oh, God, no. No, it was, <laughs> no I, I can't do that. If the girl was super, super hot, and I would just be like, dude, just just keep it away. No, 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 I wouldn't do that even, even then. Um, I was in my fraternity. My fraternity room... Uh, a lot of in the back of the day, there are small rooms, so you build the loft. And then under the loft, there are two separate chambers, basically, where if there are two guys to a room, I had the room alone, so I paid double. But those two chambers is where the beds go. And the loft, you build a loft in the middle of the room, and you put your couch up there, and you watch TV. And you make the most out of a tiny room. Well, one night at a party, I had a girl in each one of my cubbies. And I was kind of going back and forth. And uh, it wasn't really, it was. Were, were they aware of each other? They, yes, they were aware of each other, but nothing like great. Nothing. In, like they were aware in the moment they were. So let there. me make sure I'm not arrested for this. Nothing crazy happened. There was no penetration. So when I'm saying a three way, we were, I was kissing one girl and then another one came and I, to the door and I'm like, so and so's are ah uh, I'm I'm kind of sleepy I'm gonna go in there come in with me and we were so I would kiss in her and then I kiss the other one then I left and I left the room so it was just kissing only kissing but that was my only chance at a three way and I didn't know what to do so I had to leave the room and I was just it was weird yeah it was fucking weird I don't know if I should even keep that in should I get that out was that illegal you think illegal no I I don't think there's anything illegal there but questionable I, I don't think we can count that as a threesome. No, no, Sorry. absolutely not. They, I think they were aware. They were aware of each other. We were all drinking. I mean, everyone was conscious, but nothing. I don't think. I think we all had our clothes. It was just kissing. That was stupid. I shouldn't have even brought that up. Yeah, all right. it, it's, it sounds pretty above board to me. What else you got, buddy? <laughs> that was that was the the absolute G rating of a threesome, if there ever was one. Okay. All right. How about a couple of rapid fire? Questions? Yeah, rapid fire. Let's do you it. You can elaborate if you want, or you can just give me a yes or no. So is this is this like in therapy? First thing that comes to mind? 
No, it, they're going to be yes or no questions. Yes or no. Okay. If you want to elaborate, you can. If you don't, you can tell me yes or yes no. Yes or no. Okay, go ahead. Me to move on. Go ahead. Um, soup year round. Absolutely. So I'm a bachelor. That was a yes. That was a yes. Correct. I'm a bachelor. <laughs> it is a correct answer, I believe. I love soup. Super easy to make. Ah, I see what you did there. Easy. Super. <laughs> super. Ah, I didn't even see what I did there. I'm an idiot. Hey, super. Oh. I no longer oh, say. Your screen. Yeah. I, I, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> so I no longer say soup or salad at restaurants. I stopped saying that about 20 years ago. Because, What's a super salad? So now I say salad or soup just because of idiots. But very easy to make. The ones that got me hooked, which was at least 15, 20 years ago, were the progressives or the chunkies where you oh, don't yeah. have to add water. Yep. You just pour that pour shit. Go. You can pour it into a you know microwave-safe bowl, put it in the microwave, or pour it into a pot, do it over the, the stove if you don't want uh, nuclear waves in your head. But Italian wedding by progressive. I love broccoli cheese soup. And then I try and stuff as many crackers in that soup as possible. Premium saltine crackers is the way to go. All right, go ahead. Oh, yeah, I had baked potato soup at lunch. Oh, my God, it's so good. Even it when it's 90 degrees out of Even when care. it's hot, no <laughs> doubt about it. When it's cold and, and wintry, it makes it maybe taste a little bit better. It warms you up. But even when it's hot, I'll, I'll eat soup. All right. Um, next up, if there was a event that was televised via pay-per-view and it was a live duel to the death of... Two people, and it could either be celebrities or you got to choose the two people. Do you like you're the one random lucky? Do person. I pick these two people? You can, or you can have it be random people. But would you pay to watch the pay per view? Oh, okay. Would I pay? To watch? Uh, let's go. It's uh, eighty nine ninety nine in four K. So you're getting full HD. You got multi cams. It's a good production. Okay, I. Okay. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no to that because. I have been standing on this pedestal and pillars for a while. Honesty, integrity, tenacity, uh, which I think if I bring wherever I go, I'm going to be a hit. Honesty. I know I'm not doing uh, acronyms anymore, but honesty, integrity, tenacity. I've also stood on the pillar of I do not like violence other than football. Football is a violent. Controlled violence. A controlled violence. But which is an oxy. Now, the, yeah. the point, yeah, the point isn't to. For some guys it is, but the point isn't to knock your opponent out and have his his brain spilling so out into Devontae's the field. perfect. <laughs> Correct. They are wearing pads and you're supposed to get points. There's a lot of warfare and com- camaraderie. It's a very violent sport, but I am against all violence. I do not like UFC. I don't like MMA. I have watched boxing, boxing way back in the day with, with Tyson and even before then, Sugar Ray Leonard and Marvin Hagler. I remember... In Marvel's grade Marvel. school, there was a bunch of us that that followed those two. But I have to stay. I I I can't watch anybody kill each other. What about if it was like Hunger Games style, like kind of more open world instead of just direct, but people still dying? I might be open to that. Okay. I might be open okay. to that. I I'm starting to think of That's who, cool. who I want to kill each other. I'm I think Kim. Of... I think Kim Kardashian makes the ring. Yeah. <laughs> Kim, That's... I don't want you dead. I don't want anybody. No, she. You do not say that. She has a chance to defend herself. Correct. So yeah. you you could definitely win. I mean, you somehow became rich. I don't know how the hell that happened. Well, Just because those two people end up in the ring together and one's gonna die. So do you have do you have a death match that you would want to watch? No. Person? I just, these are random high thoughts I thought of when trying to prep for this podcast. Okay. Yeah. So maybe Kim Kardashian and Taylor Swift. <laughs> you okay. might get canceled for that Taylor Swift. You better watch out. Oh, I'm done. I'm You're finished. Done. Uh, Fig Newtons, yay or nay? I got a two-part answer. Ooh. Yay when I was under 16. Nay, 16 and older. I loved Fig Newtons back in the day. Uh, Mom and Dad had them in the house quite a bit. We had them. The yellow packaging all the time. Yes, yep. and they were good. Yep. And then... Then you try real food. Then I try real food. <laughs> Real dessert. <laughs> and real dessert, like real sweets. Stuff with like sugar instead of just fruit. A- M&M's, M&M's, ice cream, whatever. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. nah, cookies, this isn't going to work. I would even venture to say up until like age 10. Okay. I remember having a Fig Newton probably, th- the last time I had a Fig Newton was probably in my 30s. They still make them? Oh, I'm sure they do. Okay. 
I pro- and it's probably been. I'm like, oh, Fig me. Newton. I remember going on this just big shopping spree at, at groceries. I was going to be this cook. I was going to make all this food. I ended up not, of course. But one of the things, oh, Fig Newtons. I hadn't haven't had those in years. I brought them home. I couldn't wait to open them. I, I'm like, this is awful. It was almost like health food. My body <laughs> did not react well to it. Did you ever watch Anchorman? Right, yeah. Sorry, not Anchorman. I'm an idiot. Sorry. Uh, Ricky Bobby, Talladega Nights. Ricky, I've seen it once, okay. but only once. Do you once. remember the Fig Newton bit? I movie? don't. Uh, when he has all his advertisers and they put a giant Fig Newton sticker okay. over his whole windshield. And he's dry, trying to drive all over the track. He goes, this sticker is inconvenient and dangerous, but boy, do I love Fig Newtons. <laughs> <laughs> I have to watch that again. Great movie. I only saw it once. All right, what Great else you got? Um, do you wash your feet in the shower, or do you just let the water and soap drip down? Because that's a hot topic these days. Do you want the truth or a lie, Carl? I want the goddamn truth. <laughs> you can't handle the truth, Carl. Uh, the truth is I have at times washed my feet. I don't do it every time. Usually I just let the soap go over them. But like so more I'm, often than not. More know, often than not, I do okay. not. Um, Maybe like once a week? Well, yeah, now because when I cut the grass and there's just grass and and, sh- and I do all their yard work and it, grass and grit and dirt and shit gets in there, then I'll wash them. But so maybe once every couple weeks, because I'm not even sure I do it after every time I cut the grass. So yeah, that's kind of, I guess I'm, but I wash every, I wash everything else. Is that good? Yeah. All right. No, that's, people, I gotta pe- quite... people seem divided over that. So is that, is that becoming, so what do you, do you? Yeah. So you wash your entire body, including the, the feet. Oh, I do get you... in between the toes. Shit's nasty down there. Yeah. Yeah. No, so it's... I had horrible feet for years when I, in high school, I had athlete's foot. I was playing all the sports or whatever. Yeah. And the last 20 years or so, I don't, maybe it's because I don't do anything. Less sweat down there. Too. Maybe, maybe because I just don't. I, I'm not an athlete anymore, Mike. God, I'm so smart. Um, um, I have a question for you, yeah. Carl. After one more of these, uh, one more of these <laughs> Wilhelm screams. You are on. This is not even awkward. This is trite. I, I'm going to use the word trite word. slash overused. Pedantic. Pedantic. Deserted island. Let's say, we were talking about movies earlier, let's say you were in a Tom Hanks type deal, castaway type deal, where maybe, or maybe you were friends with Elon Musk and he just, you were no longer friends with him. He dropped you in the middle of a deserted island. You could have three things, but no electronics. Three things, anything other than electronics, three things on a deserted island, what would you select? I feel like there's so many qualifiers. Do I have, like, is... What kind of dessert island? Is it just like open beach? Is there shelter? Is there wood tree? Like we're gonna say it's the the island castaway that Tom Hanks was was okay. on. You've seen the movie Castaway? Yeah, it's been a while. It's so it's it's standard it's, mix of beach and woods. Beach woods, generic island. Generic island. Gotcha. Generic gotcha. island. But but pretty big. So there's mountains. There's probably a waterfall. There's trees, beach, accessible beach. Yeah. So three things. Hold on, hold on. He's thinking. We're gonna need lots of crickets here. Uh, He's thinking. So, over under days I would survive in this scenario, <laughs> six and a half. I'll be lucky to make it a week. I'm not a survivalist. Six and a half. Born and raised in the suburbs. I... <laughs> no, no, me too. I don't. I don't like potholes. Like, yeah, I, um... when I watch Survivor or uh, Afraid, what's going on here? What's going on here? It's not enough. Crickets, enough. I'm okay, I got one. Machete. Okay. A machete? Yeah. I'm going to chop down trees and branches and stuff. Uh, chop open coconuts for food and water. Good. That seem, there's coconuts because we said generic island. So Yeah. Um, so and you could also defend, say there were some wild yourself. animals. Um, I'd have all sorts of time to learn how to master a machete and use it properly so I'm not some... Dumbass with a machete. And you could also use it for... There's no one else there for me to accidentally machete, so I don't extra have to worry about being an idiot with it. Okay. The only person I could hurt is myself, so... Uh, <laughs> so yeah, machete. I, I feel like we could even maybe start fire with it, again, using it against rock. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not going to live that long anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> second up, some sort of canteen to collect okay. 
the little rainwater we do get. With the really? Jar. So you're gonna use a canteen? It seems like a. It seems like you could. Uh, just like cup. Like that seems. I like, mean, you only get three things. I feel like. So you, like, there's. So what I'm thinking is there's got to be. Yeah, not a survivalist, but I'm sure there's some sort of like bottle filtration thing that you could essentially use for that has a filter in it that you could okay. probably use for the ocean water even. Oh, oh, oh! So, so a sophisticated yeah. canteen, yeah. not just a like not, a thing that not holds a Gilligan's water. Gilligan's Island joke. Okay, no, yeah, that yeah. makes a lot more yeah, sense. Sorry, I didn't phrase that. No, that yeah. makes a lot more sense. Okay, I like that. Um, so you got machete, you got a uh, a sophisticated canteen, and then we got um, and then finally, actually, there's something that uh, quite obvious. Yeah. Not obvious. It's not obvious. Actually, you might not even want this. I was thinking about a hot female, but you might not want a hot female. <laughs> well, then that kind of defeats being alone. Island. Oh, yeah. deserted. Yeah. yeah. God, sometimes it amazes me how stupid I am. Yeah. We all have our moments. I think finally, the one, the most, so I've got something machete. I can get food, water, coconuts, all that. I got water filtration. I can chop down shit to make shelter. I got to go. People don't think about it. It's going to get really, really cold there, especially at nights, depending on the season. Yes. You're in the middle of the ocean. Uh, some sort of incredibly durable, heavy blanket. Oh, nice. So even if I don't have shelter, when it drops down to 45 degrees at night and I'm in my raggedy clothes. that So a gigantic work. yacht like the Titanic, we'll say that's electronic somehow. Uh, yeah, I, I also assumed it was stuff that would fit like <laughs> on the island, not in the water. I like it. I mean, sure, give me a fucking canoe, but <laughs> <laughs> I'll take my chances. Oh, I'll take a helicopter? Yeah. And that's all I need. Yeah. The one thing I need is a helicopter. Uh, that's it. You forgot a helipad. Where's it going to land? Yeah, that's correct. See? Well, this is coming to an end. I mean, uh, yeah. Almost. I'm, I'm not a, quite done with You got mine. a couple more? Go ahead. Um, this is a two parter. Yeah. Cuz Carl Conquers. Cuz Carl Conquers 2. I wonder if people are going to like the sequel or the first one better. Yay or nay. Okay. Did Michael Douglas actually get his throat cancer from constant cunnilingus with Catherine Zeta-Jones, as he claims? I didn't even hear he's claimed that. Oh, yeah. This was a long time ago. So he's been with Catherine zeta They're still together? I believe so. Wow. So he claims claims going down on her. He just couldn't stop. And that somehow gave him throat cancer. Yeah. So, being the doctors that we are... So, do you believe him, or do you just think because it's Catherine Zeta-Jones, he was just bragging? I, yeah, I think he was, <laughs> yes. I don't believe him, 100%, I think he was just bragging, and he was being facetious. Um, the way you phrased it, I thought, and the way you looked at me, I'm like, maybe he was serious, but I didn't even hear no, him he, say No, he, it. like, he act, he said it's, it's So, he said it more manner. than once. Yeah. He yeah. said it more than once. Yeah. Google it afterwards. I will. I'm going to Google that yeah. afterwards. That's um, fucking crazy. Good for you, Michael, that you still want to do that. I wonder if he still does. So is he Is he in, like, late stage? Is he... I mean, he's old. He's in, like, his 80s. Yeah, he's yeah. old as fuck. Uh, if you were a hot dog, okay. would you eat yourself? Would I eat my... Like, Jabba the Hut? Or Pizza the Hut. I'm sorry. <laughs> Pizza the Hut from Spaceballs. You ever seen Spaceballs? Yeah. He ate himself to Classic. death. Classic. Um, no. No, I would not. Okay. No, I would not, Carl. The answer to eating myself as a hot dog is no. You are allowed whatever condiments you prefer if that changes your answer. I might change my answer because a Portillo's hot dog with uh, onions, mustard, and a pickle spear, delicious. So if I could, I might eat myself. Depending on, on how old I was, if I ever... There's a ton of things I still want to do with my life. I could die tomorrow or whatever, but um, if I was like 80 and I had accomplished a bunch of stuff on my bucket list, for sure. If it was tomorrow, absolutely not. Because I'm dying, right, at the end of it? Or am I just half the man I used to be? (laughs) (laughs) Makes me want to start singing. Singing the song. But uh, no. No, just wanted to get deep there. Yeah, Uh, that was interesting. Are you doing any karaoke this episode? Should I? I have a, a request. Okay, what's the request? The request, and I'm going to assume you know this because you work in a restaurant with a lot of young people, okay. is Espresso by Sabrina Carpenter. Oh my God, I've never heard that before. Do you know what it is? I've never heard of You've Espresso. You've never heard that? No. Okay, well. Sabrina Carpenter. 
So name name somebody else. Name name somebody that I might know, like a like a uh, an artist. So should I bring out the wheel? Let's bring, yeah, out, the bring out the wheel. Let's bring out the wheel. I've been using the wheel for years. Yeah, yeah. Feel free to, to keep the audience entertained, Carl. Feel free to keep the audience entertained. Uh, uh, shout out everyone. Thanks for having me on, Mike. It's been fun. <laughs> All right, uh, here's the wheel. All right, let's give it a spin. Let's give it. Well, let's give it a better spin. Oh, can I, you you want to spin, spin it? it? Yeah. You spin it. You spin I'll start it. Start blindly here. And you're gonna do a snippet of whatever you get. Yeah, Hang absolutely. On. I gotta see what's on here. Let's yeah. See. Megan Trainer, you did that the other day. Yeah, I did. Uh, I was gonna switch them, but Bon Jovi, T Swift. But I know a bunch of other Megan. other songs. Uh, if it lands on Megan Trainer, then it'll be Carl's pick. Okay. But not so okay. Carpenter. Okay. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? Spice Girls. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Hey, and we are recording this as England plays in the European oh, Championships. Okay. If you want to be my lover, you got to get with my friends. Make it last forever. Oh, I, I did that one last time. Is there any other? No, you already did Spice Girls. Let's spin again. Yeah, spin it again. I got to put new people on that fucking thing. Or Bob you, Dylan. Have um, you done Dylan yet? Uh, early one? No, I already did that one. Um, shit, this is just a horrible. This is a horrible. Give me some Pearl Jam. Pearl Jam. All right, let me think of some Pearl Jam. Um. She lies and says she's in love with him. Can't find a better man. What else, buddy? Uh, Rapid fire. Rapid fire. What did it land on? Goo goo dolls. <laughs> goo goo dolls. Uh, goo goo dolls. Uh, why don't you slide? Boom, boom, boom. I don't even know that one. Uh, Taylor. What was that? Taylor Swift? Yeah, I guess um, I'm fucking. I'm really blanking right now, dude. It's like. Thank you. Oh wait, it's me. Hi, I'm the problem. It's me. Hi, I'm the problem. It's me. What else? See, now you won back all the Taylor Swift fans. Uh, did I? Did I though? We'll do uh, one maybe, more, and then maybe. we'll call it Megan Trainer. So it's your call, and this is the end of it. Uh, what do we got? Let's see. Um, it's Tom Petty. Tom Petty. All right. So bring it full circle. All right. How about yes from the wedding? The new wildflowers. Uh, you, well, you Maybe belong. Whatever. You belong among the wildflowers. You belong in a boat on at sea. And that was that was kind of a Mikey karaoke segment. We're gonna end. Uh, this is part two. Let us know what you think of Crazy Cousin Carl. Cousin Carl conquered on both episode 14 and on, I guess, 15? I mean, we didn't really cut off it. A good cut Should off we it, do so. just 14 part 1 and 14 part 2? No, double drop. Give them for the people. Come on. So I'll just do, this is all episode both. 14. Yeah. So do I... It's two different videos. Episode 14 part 1 and 14 part 2. 14 part 2. Done. Thanks so much for coming on, buddy. It was a great time. Just one episode. No, no. Carl conquered... And it was over two episodes, over an hour and a half. We had a blast. Uh, this is a great guy. I am all right. I'm getting there. I'm trying to be a better guy as we go, which is why whenever I say be good, do good, I hear it. And I try and be a better person every day, which I'm hoping that you all do too. So until next time, this is Mad Valid Mike and Cousin Carl saying, peace, we out of here. Oh, that was fun. That was a good time. Oh, yeah. If I can ever get over there.